What is going on, everybody? And we are waiting on one individual that's usually late to her own streams. What the? Okay, anyway. Lady Mischief is actually late, as usual, as we call her in her streams, Lady Mischief. But today we got a new host, Chase Newsom. We got our friend Always Mean. He is Cameron. I forgot your last name. Pace. <laughs> so, uh, so while we're waiting on Lady, um, it looks like we have uh, Rev in the stream chat. I, Rev, I got to show you something. So while we were sitting there waiting, I was vaping. And apparently this was in my pocket while I was asleep on the couch or something. And I didn't lock it. Usually there's a little locking mechanism right here. You, you can't hardly see it. But, oh no, burnt's not the word. I'm talking about jet fuel. I go to take a hit off of this thing. And I'm going to show you, if you can see it, you can watch right here. Now there's, it happens here too, but just watch right here. You see that? It shot flames straight into my throat. I thought I was going to die. Uh, I can still feel it. <laughs> so, yeah. Waiting on Lady, and tonight we've got quite a bit going on. I think Chase has got a, a topic, he, or not even a topic that he wants to talk about, just a story that happened to you, what was it, just the other day? Uh, yesterday. yesterday, okay. I'm going to actually probably lead off with you here in a few minutes when she gets to the stream, and... Um, then I know that she's got quite a bit to talk about, and it, it'll it probably last. Her camera magically looks terribly magically. We'll tell her to magically appear into the streaming channel. <laughs> My camera looks terrible too, but I, had to, I have to work with what I got. And this ain't working right now. Oops. I will go ahead and talk about something. Well, look at my camera quality. While she's getting her camera fixed. I got the one chip challenge. Um, I won't be doing it until I hit affiliate, which uh, requires, well, I'm at 22 followers. Now I'm at 23. It reflow. It what? Yeah, it should be the same. <laughs> if I hit 50 followers, um, I should if I should reach affiliate. And once I hit affiliate, I'll be doing this challenge on the podcast. I'll be starting the podcast doing this because the podcast lasts at least an hour, hour and a half. And the challenge is you've got to eat this without drinking anything, eating anything for an hour. So we'll be doing that as soon as I hit affiliate. So share, follow. Subscribe. No. <laughs> We're going to do the challenge. We might try something else later. No, that's a death note. <laughs> well, we're, we got to start small here, okay? we got to start small. No. Not facts. Hey, look at that. We got a no, we don't have a video on her. Now, hold on. I literally just joined. Okay. Okay. I know I'm late. Sorry. No, you're good. Did you see what happened to me? No. Okay, you ain't watching the stream. <laughs> pretty much dead. I honestly, I honestly almost, I thought I almost died. Okay, I will, I will turn them up. No, he just got me and uh, I do, I do. Chase and I got it. Thank you, Rev, so very much <laughs> because I did have them muted again. Wow. Are you sure he's not just saying that we're just not talking? Not that it's technically our volume that's the Is issue. that better? Why are you so far up, Ken? What do you mean? Why am I so far up? Oh, it's because you're not that loud. Okay. I still don't feel prepared enough for this. Would, would you want me to holler at you? 
Sweet. Oh, wow. Thanks a lot, Rev. Still waiting. There we go. There we go. Sorry. Yay. Oh, don't look I'm bad. Gonna... I know. I figured it out. I had to turn the overhead light on because okay. it looked like crap again, but then I, anyway, I fixed it. Wow. Oh, what's going on, Darth Square? I know who that is. So check this out. You see this? Yeah. Yeah. I took a hit it's off a of it pen. and it did this right here. Yeah. Fire came out of the top into my throat. That's not good. So. All right, well. everybody. Everybody's finally here. We got the Lady Mischief here. If you follow her on her on, on her stream, you can go ahead and introduce yourself on that. Hi, I'm Lady. <laughs> <laughs> she's a variety streamer here on Twitch, and yeah. she does all kinds of games. In fact, she's going to be streaming tonight, and I will be too around 9 o'clock Central Time. We're supposed to be doing Grounded with her husband, the Revenant Balor, as well. So go follow him. Yeah, can, go do it. Go, go follow him, it. go follow Lady if you don't already, but I'm sure you do. And um, now we got our new host, Chase Newsome over here. Go oh, ahead and introduce yourself, Chase. Well, I'm Chase. That's me. <laughs> I'm here. He just <laughs> started. my first one of these. So, yeah, I just started streaming, uh, what, Monday, I think? Is that what I said? Monday yeah, was Monday. my first time? Yeah. And you're going to so, be streaming mostly ARC, are you not? Yeah, mostly ARC. Uh, currently playing it now, not streaming it, but playing it. And I'm terrible right now. Just he doesn't lay down of, on my bed. <laughs> he does a up. lot of mods on his server. He has his own server, and I'll also be playing ARC with him. It's so yep. Lady Mischief as well. Um, also up here in the corner, we got uh, Chase, not Chase, I'm sorry, Cameron Pace. He's a friend of mine, and he will be here again on another podcast because I want to I want to bring what he be does right into the podcast and kind of promote that because I think it's really cool. But we'll talk about that on another podcast, and as soon as Chase gets back, if you want to plug that one, we do have an event coming up end of the year. Isn't that like um, we have uh, New Year's Nightmare coming up December? December 31st and January 7th, 8 to 10, both nights. Okay, and what he does is uh, Haunted Escape Rooms, which is, I think is really, really, really cool. So, yep. But now that we got everybody here, I want Chase to go ahead and lead us off and talk about what he wanted to talk about. He told me a little bit about it this morning, but I can't wait to hear what actually happened. Oh, man. All right, so... Uh, yesterday I take off work to go help my dad. Uh, he's a furniture maker and we went up on the mountain working from, I th it wasn't much, it wasn't like a long time, but when we got off the mountain, it was probably, I'd say roughly around two thirty. So I said, instead of my wife, when she gets off of work at five driving 45 minutes to get our son, I was like, I'm just going to go get our son for her kind of you know surprise her so and just be like hey you can come straight home well on the way back i'm my dad was like hey can i just go with you make like, sure so on the way back i'm taking him to his house where we're pulling in on his road and they're down here in tennessee they're doing something like every now and then you get 50 cents to a dollar off each gallon of gas if you come at a certain time where is that at <laughs> uh they do it a few places actually they've uh the one that we usually do is either right by my house in lakeside or in uh bakewell up okay. near sail creek so we were the, at the one near sail creek and pull in there you can only go in one way you can only go out one way pull in there get gas all of a sudden we're about to just leave and we'll go take my dad drop him back at home i'm gonna go to my house wait on my wife get in my truck, fire it back up, look in front of me, there's a truck heading straight at me. They're supposed to be coming from behind. Well, this truck misses another truck. Mind you, there's only about a 10-foot gap between cones to pull out. It's the exit. Mm -hmm. So this truck misses this other truck by maybe two or three inches. Well, the worker's sitting there telling him you can't go this way. you got to go the other way. Nope, that truck keeps coming, almost hits him goes around the back side of my truck, starts driving up to the gas station. 
in front of gas stations, you've got the red poles, you know, like yeah. right or whatever color poles. But you got the poles so you can't drive up on the sidewalk so people can walk. Well, this dude just decides I don't have a brake pedal. Smacks right into it. I mean, probably 15 miles an hour. Just Good hits it, never grief. hits the brakes. Throws it in park. Gets out of the truck. And just does this. <laughs> <laughs> just this doing that. Another normal Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I was like, Pop, Tuesday. he's drunk. I was like, he's hammered. So, my dad is like... Are you sure? And I said, Dad, I'm a thousand percent sure. Like, he, he almost hit two people right there, and now he's wrecked his truck, has no clue what's going on. He's got to go inside. So he's inside. I'm like, hey, just go ahead, call non emergency, get the cops down here. I said, I'm going over there. I'm not letting that guy leave. He's drunk. He's not, he's not driving. So I'm a pretty large individual. I go over there. I'm standing beside his truck. I tell the ladies that are outside work, and I'm like, don't worry, I'm not going to let him leave. And they're like, you know, all shook up. I'm like, it's all good. I got it. He's not going to leave. So I'm standing Weakening. right by his door. This dude comes out, and he's just like looking at me. And I'm kind of at his rear wheel, I guess, at this point. He opens his door, starts to get in, and says, hey, partner, you, you ain't going nowhere. He looks at me, and he's like, what are you talking about? Well, as soon as he breathed, I could smell it. it. Smelled like he done went on an all night boozer. Good he's just, grief. yeah, he's he's sloshed. And he's what done. time of day did you say this was? Yeah, this is about four o'clock on a Tuesday. So club going up on a Tuesday. I don't know. Good grief. Yeah, <laughs> he he's going wild. So I'm like, you're not you're not driving. And he's like, yeah, I'm. I just gotta go. So tries to get in. I just grab him from his chest. Push him back, just about like that. Didn't go fast. Didn't push him super hard. Just move him out of the way. Shut the door. I'm like, he ain't leaving. When he proceeds to sit there and fidget, you know, and I'm like, quit fidgeting, man. Quit fidgeting, because I'm just thinking, this drunk dude's about to pull a knife, going to pull a gun, something, I'm going to have to clock him. So I'm just sitting there, and uh, he's trying to talk to me. He doesn't even realize that we just had an interchange. And he's like, well... I got to go. I'm like, no, man, you're you're not going anywhere. I was like, you just smacked this pole. And he just looks at me, and hand to God, he does this. Just reaches out to shake my hand. That's all he does. He wants to shake my hand. And I'm like, what are you doing? So I shook his hand, and I'm holding his hand, and I'm looking at him. I'm like, hey, do you even know where you're at? Has no clue. I mean, he's gone. He's in Missouri right now in his mind. He don't know where he is. And he's and he's just fumbling over every sentence. Any word that he makes out is slurred. He's just basically drooling on himself at this point. And I'm like, man, you ain't going anywhere. And he was like, oh, I'm leaving. And like stepped to me. Mind you, I, again, am a large human. Have anger issues. I... <laughs> Put my hand on this dude, and I'm like, bro, I'm telling you I ain't the one. You ain't going nowhere. And the fear of God went over this man for the half a second of consciousness that he had. And then he was gone again. So he's he's out. He's gone. He's just sit, he's just standing there. Well, then he's looking around, and he's like, well, what's going on with this? Doesn't even realize he's at the pole still. I'm like, this is gas. Everybody's doing this. They got cheaper gas right now. And he's like, huh. Well, I got to go. Trying to get around me. I'm like, you're not leaving, bro. Like, you're you're not leaving. I promise you, you're not going to move me. You're not leaving. So he proceeds. I'm, like, leaned up kind of on his did, door. Did, did you have somebody calling the cops? Did you say Yeah, my, my dad was on non-emergency with him. Okay. And uh, so I'm, like, <laughs> leaned up on his door just staring at him. And he... <laughs> It was funny now. It wasn't funny then because I was pissed. <laughs> he decides to get his Polar Pop. That That's why he was so drunk. He had to go get a Polar Pop. Had to go get <laughs> so he then proceeds to get right beside me and leans back on his on his truck right beside me and just looks at me and he's like, yeah. Like, hey, this is cool. Like this, Dude, I was so mad. And I kept telling him, I was like, bro, you are not going to leave. You are going to stay right here. Your ride is coming. I was like, I am like 
everybody here is pissed off at you. And I'm loud and anyway, but like I was being extra loud and all these people are just like staring at me. They're like, he, that big dude about to kill him. He's dead. <laughs> and like, they're all just staring at me. And, uh, I was like, my seven month son, my seven month old son is in that truck right there. And the only reason that you're still breathing is because you didn't hit that truck. If you would have mm-hmm. hit that truck, I promise you, I ain't scared to go to jail. Didn't even register with him. Didn't register at all. And, mm-hmm. uh, he, so he's sitting there. He then takes his keys out. And I'm like, he about to try to shank me with a key. <laughs> so he's trying to like get behind me to lock his truck because he was like, I'm I'm just going to go. I'm going to leave. And I was like, you're not leaving. I t- told you you ain't leaving. Oh, so man. this dude finally, like this, this other bald dude gets out, comes over there. And he's like, did you not hear this gentleman? Like, you're not going anywhere at all. I don't know why you're trying to leave. I'm like, he's getting mad. And finally, I'm like, hey, look, dude, give us, let's, let's just step back. Let's give it five minutes. I'm telling this drunk guy that. Cause, you know, you can play little games with drunk people like that. And he was like, yeah, okay. So he's just sitting there and he's like, well, I just need to leave. I said, bro, I got you a ride coming. I got you a ride coming. <laughs> and he was like, oh, like just standing there. Well, then all of a sudden he looked up and saw the cop sitting at the intersection and he started to panic Good and he was grief. wearing a Carhartt hoodie. And I was like, if he makes a break for it, I'm going to grab that hoodie so fast. I'm going <laughs> to snatch him up. But dude, they got there and uh, the cops started talking to him and asked him what happened. He was like, not even like fully able to speak a word at that point pretty much Good grief. and the cop had to ask me what happened and i told him and they i 100 percent sure they you know arrested him or whatever but it, it was so funny man now looking back on it but i was so pissed but i was like I, well there's there's some good content for tomorrow we're doing texas justice in tennessee <laughs> it's like <laughs> rev says in the comments that dude was dead set to go oh he was he it, was, man. I heard a story this weekend that kind of makes me think of what he just said and what you were saying. Mm-hmm. I've got a cousin that lives up here on the mountain, and they have rental property in different areas over here in Alabama. And um, they had, I, I want to say it was like a gooseneck trailer, and mm-hmm. they had it stored at one of their rental po- properties. And they, uh, hold on just a second. I'll be right back. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Some children about to get hurt. Just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) So, anyway. So, anyway. That's, um... Yeah. That was a very eventful Tuesday. Yeah. yeah, I was like, man. Yeah. Out here, just trying to make money. Do a side hustle with my pop. And now I can't even get gas at my hometown. I tell you, crazy world we're living in. Yeah. Crazy world we're living in. I'm back. All right. There we go. So what I was saying is they have rental properties all over Alabama, northeast Alabama, and they had a gooseneck trailer stored at one of them. Well, this trailer gets stolen, and they they find it. The police find it. They don't find any of the stuff that was on the trailer, but they find the trailer it's not hooked to a truck, so they don't find the person that's actually still in the trailer. Well, my cousin, she takes and puts it in a different rental property. Now, get this. It's like an hour and a half away from that property. And they go back down there to, I guess they're going to use it to move some stuff off of that property. They had some, like, big metal beams and stuff on that property. And I want to say that property is probably a good eight to ten acres so it's not that small well the metal beams were in the back of the property and the trailer was kind of sitting up front well they go back one day to go pick up the trailer and it's not there Mm. somebody has broken it now this thing has an electronic fence too, like a a gate so they go back into town because they have no they have no cell service and they go back into town call the police the police is going to meet them there When they get back, the guy that is actually stealing the trailer is there with the trailer hooked to his truck, trying to load up the metal beams. 
So, so <laughs> the cop chases after him. There's only one entrance to this property, one entrance, one exit, until he decides he's going to make a break for it through the woods and out the barbed wire fence. This guy was determined to get away. I reckon he popped both tires on the way out trying to get away. Heck yeah. Yeah. So. Classy um, people, man. We're, we're around some classy people. You got that right. It, it's crazy what's out there. And I, I'm glad I don't get to see a lot of it. I'm glad that's all yeah. you chase. Well, no, no, I don't want to see. I don't got enough of my mom and my sister growing up. I'm done with it. Okay? Speaking of my sister, I got oh you one. Oh, my goodness. I got you one. I done told Cameron about this, so listen. Oh, no. Listen, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> so on my way home, right, I, I, just, I leave work. And I'm like, man, I should probably leave early because traffic's probably going to be bad. You know, Thanksgiving holiday, whatever. Oh, yeah. Usually it takes me about 20 minutes to get home. Nope. Took me about an hour and 15 minutes. And on, and which is stupid. And, <laughs> and on the way home, I have to go by the veterinary clinic or what animal, ho- what is this? Place? Animal hospital. I got to go by there. I got to pick up a, uh, not a subscription. Hey, but subscribe. Everybody <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> But there you go. Yeah, you like yeah. that plug. I got gotcha. you. But the go. uh, I had to get a prescription, per, prescription. We prescri- got it. I don't know. Prescription. You know prescription. Prescription. Yeah. Thing. I had to get that medicine, <laughs> you know, for the uh, for the dog because my sister came over and I, we it's got fleas now. The sister so, of the dog. Both. <laughs> now my dog's got it. Both my cats got it. We're just a flea infested rat hole. Over <laughs> So, I mean, we're just about to burn this place to the ground and go live in that trailer. I was actually the one trying to steal that camper trailer you were talking about earlier. That was me. I was going to use them eye beams to try to make it some nice joys, but now I can't have nothing nice. <laughs> I got caught. Oh, man. I think you got sidetracked and forgot what you're talking about. No, that's what, that's what I was okay. going to say about my sister. Yeah. I had to go fleas. get the flea mat. Yeah. 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 No, dead serious. She may, uh, she may or may not have fleas. I don't know. I don't talk to her. So my dog, my dog, and both my cats got fleas. So it, it's it's out of control over here. My oh, wife's man. always mad at me. My animals got fleas. I'm falling apart. You're like that little meme of the dog that's like sitting with the flames all around. This is fine. Yeah, yeah this is fine. Yeah. This is fine. It's all good. <laughs> Holidays coming up. I hate this time of year. <laughs> Uh, we'll have to go into depth on that one day why i hate the holidays <laughs> well actually i'm not sure if i even know that story Mm-mm. we'll we'll go my wife that. does but i got this this is kind of a topic that i want to talk about is about the holidays this is something okay, I let's, so let's this is actually something i want the chat to enjoy uh talk about too because i want to get everybody's opinion in this when do you guys think is the proper time to put up Christmas decorations. After Thanksgiving. Wait a second. I ain't finished. And to put them back up. Like after, you know, I'll everything's The day up. after Christmas. Golly. I'm done. <laughs> Once Christmas is done, I'm like, no. Get this clutter out of my house. I'm ready to have everything back up in the attic. Well, that's not no. fair. That's not fun. All right. So no, no. Said, all right, But what, what, do you, what do you think about, like, when do you need to start putting them up? So I, I just think, like, you, even if you want to make that a tradition, like, on Thanksgiving, right, like, after the meal with your family, your immediate family, your kids, whatever, if you want to put it up then, cool, by all means. But I just want one dang holiday at a time. I don't want to right now, it's at, right after Thanksgiving, everybody's like, hey, Valentine's Day is coming up. <laughs> got numerous holidays. Are you kidding me? But, I mean, that's how stuff goes. Serious, so, I think. You, you, if you want to put it up, it's got to be after Thanksgiving. If you want to take it down, I think even if you want to wait till after the new year, whatever. Me personally, I'd probably just be like, well, no, let's be honest. The past like two years, it, it's okay. Last year, it stayed up to about March. Good so, grief. <laughs> what? Cameron, Cameron can vouch for me, though. I was sick as crap and lost like 60 pounds. I was basically bedridden so <laughs> he, he went through a lot of heart issues last year you know yeah. the the job about killed him literally okay 
That and makes my sense. Eating habit. Yeah, well, I mean that too. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of stress <laughs> and just other factors. But yeah, I think after. So you think the day after Thanksgiving you you should put it up, which is what my brother Tyler's no, saying. I mean you can. I just I don't think. Uh, well, I mean you like that's to. the earliest that you think. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you're not a hey, it's Halloween time. Let's get our Christmas decorations up, <laughs> kind of guy. No, but I, there I are really saw... people like that, you know. Yeah. I've seen that on Facebook. They're like, "Hey, I know it's October, but psh, October fifteenth. Yeah, I've seen like people on Facebook. They they're like, "It's October 15th. My mother has got her tree up. I'm like, "It's a little early." I so, no. throw up. So mom's yeah. had hers up <laughs> since the first of October. Good. Oh my gosh. Hers, hers will stay up until probably New Year's. Uh, me personally, I like to put it up first of November. Take it down. Either Christmas night or the the night after. Okay. Christmas night. When do you, you put wild it up, and... lady? Like put it out or yeah, put it up in my attic? Put it out. No, no, no. <laughs> not, like, I'm not. <laughs> you're already <laughs> still. You're, you don't even want it out at right now. No, <laughs> no not really. But I need to get it. The um, Grinch. So typically, no. I like Christmas. It's a magical <laughs> holiday. Yada yada. But I'm just. <laughs> yada, yada. We're going this to get year, into this, Chase, I want to know what your problem with Christmas is. But go ahead, lady. So, like, putting it out, it depends on the year and our mood. Like, sometimes, like I think last year we put it up in November, like before before Thanksgiving. I think it was like a couple of weeks before Thanksgiving. Um, we had our Christmas stuff out, Christmas tree up, everything was pretty and nice and great, whatever. Um, and then we put it up, I think, the day after Christmas or the maybe two days after Christmas or something. Um, so I think anywhere from like, I don't know, like a week or two or even like the first week of November. I feel like that's acceptable to put your Christmas stuff out. Um, I don't think you should leave it out until March. <laughs> I think you should put it up before then. <laughs> Judgment's but, raining down right now. You know, um, I don't know. Maybe put it up like if you know, leaving it out till New Year's. I think that's acceptable too. I just, yeah. I, I don't know how I'm going to do this year. I don't even really want to put it out, but I'm, I'm mm. going to because I got Grinch. kids. You know. All right, so Lady, I've got one for you. I've got a customer that still got their tree out from two years ago. That's my hero. Oh my God. Okay. They, they that's your hero. <laughs> with it. That's, they got. that's a lazy person, and I love them. <laughs> that's what America's backbone is. That's what we're built on right now is lazy people. It's so that's crazy. America. I think they got some trauma deep buried down that they need to, <laughs> they need to deal with. Uh, uh -uh. They got some other no. issues, like little bitty you know, bug issues they need to deal with first. <laughs> Good. Get them roaches no. out. Them roaches are in that tree. That's why they got roaches still. So, Asia and I went to Cracker Barrel around September, end of September, and we started seeing their Christmas stuff out then. And I'm like, okay, this is too early. But the way that I look at it, like, I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday, and we're going to get to why it's not Chase's. But, uh, we're not. yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want to talk about this. So, I think after Halloween, I would like to have my Christmas stuff out. It's not like I have a Christmas tree right here in a box. It's just waiting. But I think after Halloween, I like to have my Christmas stuff out around Thanksgiving because it, it kind of melds into that holiday, in my opinion. And I do not like it to go up or go put it back up until after New Year's because I want to be able to enjoy my holiday season as much as I can because what else yeah. is there to enjoy in this life? But I want to know why you don't like it. Speak hey, up. Can I for one second? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. What is the appropriate amount <laughs> of trees in your house? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> one tree. Uh, one tree. What about a small one? Yeah, I think, yeah, you can have two, but one's got to, it's got to be under, under it's got to be under a foot. Four trees. Under a foot. <laughs> yeah, you, under You got two four feet. trees. Yes. Four trees. Well, you what do you have six, over there? six kids. <laughs> Let them all share one tree. <laughs> around the Christmas tree. One tree. If the kids' rooms were actually clean, I would actually have seven trees in my house. Good, my, oh my gosh. No. That's, well, that's, tell no. Liam to get in there and clean them. <laughs> <laughs> Little man hey, needs to start pulling hey. his weight. He's like 14 months old. He's going to be sitting here cocking a butthole. Not long, oh, so. I, I know what he's going to say. <laughs> so you think it's just one tree, lady? 
I mean, I, I so I have had two trees in the past. We had one um, in Kyrie's room, but it was like so it was chaotic and messy in there. I always grew up with just one Christmas tree, and it was just the traditional. It wasn't even. And this is another thing, too. Like, how do y'all feel like Christmas trees should be decorated? Because there's people that do, like, this big elaborate, like, fancy. We're going to have, like, Grinch feet hanging out and, like, big firework things on top. And then you got, like, people like I grew up with where it was always homemade ornaments and all this, you know, that kind of thing. So, so like, with us, I have some cute stuff. Like, I have little deer heads that I put on there and little pine cones and like different little stuff that go on my tree but I also have like a lot of my kids homemade ornaments and just like little cute stuff and it makes it fun for her you know like to put stuff on the tree I think. cameron I always rev, enjoy it little. rev says no matter what tree or how many roger has more and they're bigger got that right <laughs> so i know what you're saying lady like um do you think that there should be like a theme to the Christmas tree or like maybe like a, what type of theme is what you're trying to say? Yeah. Like, should there be like, I'm not, I'm specifically only hanging these ornaments on this tree or should you just kind of have whatever on the tree? You know, I'm very particular about that. Like Christmas is my holiday. I love it. And Aisha will talk, uh, will tell you when it comes to the Christmas tree, I'm the one that fluffs it and makes like, makes it how I want it to be. Um, don't you look at me like that. <laughs> I mean. I'm not doing nothing. All right. Oh, I can't cool. see. I can't see Chase. I changed my there camera. There we go. Yeah, now I, I can it. see it. This one's so much better than my other camera. I don't know. Yeah, why. it looks good. Looks good. You got that ugly Tennessee hat on, but it looks good. Right, so anyway. We suck and I'm still <laughs> repping. Uh, best fans in the world because we suck. We still best, love them. Best season in the world. <laughs> 98, 98 dogs. Anyway, so the way that I do the Christmas tree is I have it color coded. There's two colors, and I think the ones that we have right now is like silver and blue, and that's all that can go on that tree. It can't. Um, now, we do have a four foot tree that. We do, like you said, the ornaments that are, like, homemade for the kids, everything like that. But as far as, like, the big tree, I want it to look like you would walk into a Macy's department store and it's professionally done. <laughs> like, I want that thing to have ribbons coming down on the sides, the big right. silver and blue balls. Oh, Lord. The str- yeah, everything. I'm, I'm, it's It's got to look like I'm bougie. I mean, I'm bougie. I respect I'm bougie. the hustle. Yeah, I'm I respect bougie. the hustle, bro. <laughs> I uh, hate it, but I respect <laughs> it. Yeah, like I understand. I understand it looking nice. It does it does look a lot nicer than than I just don't put the money or the time or the effort into making it bougie. I so just, I think just, we need to say who's got the nicest Christmas tree then. Okay. We I didn't have my yeah, nice. Okay, let me let me let me tell let me tell this also to the chat. Um that reminds me. I'm actually gonna be making an Instagram page and a Twitter page for our pad podcast. Our podcast and uh, I'll have that information up probably next week, but we can we can do that. We can take a picture. Y'all can send it to me. I'll put it on the Instagram page and see what the voters the think. Vote. Yeah. yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Mine's going to lose. I'm going to tell y'all right now, mine's going to lose. <laughs> you it's <know> fine. <laughs> it's like you looked over at it or something. It's like, it looks so shrimpy. <laughs> it's already up. She's got that Charlie. No. Brown. Tree. No, my tree's up here. Uh, but, um, Is up that there. the tree that's going to fall on top of you? You know, maybe. Uh, well, Red <laughs> says it's not. I think it's actually, it just looks like a box, though. But he said it's where someone stepped. You know, I, you know what? Well, y'all Making probably can't see it. <laughs> She's getting nervous. There's like, a, there's like an outline of a square above my head. Like something's just going to fall on me one day. Now Mosh she's thinking about it. You got her shook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, all right, we got the we got that. I want to know about this. Why you why you don't like Christmas? Oh, bro, it's story just, time. It's Let's not go. A, it's not a happy story. Oh, oh. is it a That's sad? Good. Is it funny? I we mean, don't I have think to. I think it's funny because I okay. think <laughs> it's funny. I don't care. All right, as long as it's not going to like. That ain't going to make me cry or nothing, no. You ain't got to go to therapy after this, right? 
No, bro, this is like therapy. This is like group therapy. Oh, uh, yeah, I enjoy this. Um, okay, so the reason I hate Christmas, or my birthday even, just any any kind of celebration of anything. Uh, my mom left, my birth mom left when I was uh, 15 months old, 14 months old. And she chose drugs over me and my sister. And my dad was 20 seven at the time with two kids under the age of three man and uh she took all our money like out of all the like, college and you know like savings accounts all that kind of stuff she took all of it and she decided to shack up with a dude that she was taking care of she was like a home health provider <laughs> not nurse but but kind of like a cna but for home health care stuff mm -hmm. like that yeah kind of like, okay yeah yeah, so she chose to just leave my dad, who she had two kids with, and uh, marry him. And they ended up, like, you know, doing whatever they did. I mean, I loved him. I mean, he was my stepdad for 20 years before he passed away. He was a paraplegic. And so it made stuff – the reason that's relevant is because it made stuff harder later on for him to, like, go somewhere, you know, to meet – me or my sister or whatever to um have christmas or celebrate a birthday or stuff like that like i, I can't tell you off the top of my head maybe 10 times i've seen him in a restaurant or i right. saw him in a restaurant before he passed but anyway it made it hard because my dad never had any money okay he had 127 dollars to his name at 27 years old with two kids under the age of three mm. and he had a full-time job but was laid off at least twice a month and then they would bring him back and then he'd get laid off and he'd have to go bell hay and he'd have to bring us with him um so we never had money for things but that didn't matter like my dad is my hero he is he is the hulk he is superman to me he like he right. did everything for us and most so. men in the 90s didn't do that <clears throat> They yeah. didn't take two kids on and, you know, stick around and love us the way he did. Well, we didn't have money to do stuff, but had each other. But then it started, the older I got, the more I saw him struggle. Not necessarily that we didn't have everything, because anything we wanted, my dad would get it, within reason. Right. But coming from a broken family and being pulled constantly between oh you're gonna go to your dad's this time and not come see me on christmas you're not gonna stay the night on christmas eve and be with us on christmas morning and then my dad vice versa not necessarily guilt tripping like my mom would but she would say the same kind of stuff then <clears throat> then that just you know progressed years and years and years and years and years then my mom was so hooked on drugs she didn't even notice when we weren't around on Christmas or hard. Thanksgiving or anything. I mean, we would go over there two weeks in the summer and she would come pick us up and then she would go get high on heroin, meth, whatever in the bathroom for four or five days, come back out, buy us a little Caesars pizza, get us a two liter of like Sam's Cola or something like that. And she'd disappear for another two or three days in her bathroom shooting up. So I just do not have good memories about holidays or celebrating anything. And then I, understand that. I get married to my ex-wife now we're married five and a half years and it's constantly oh you we're going to my family stuff we're not going to your family stuff chase and That's then crap. so I'm me sorry. and my family's just yeah. my family and my relationship just did this <clears throat> not on their part i could have called them any time they could have called me anytime i'd have been there but when it came to holidays it was basically like here's the importance of my family compared to here's the importance of her family right. and stuff. And I just, I just saw the division. It just constantly brought up fights. And even with my wife now, me and her, we, she knows around holidays, I get really irritable. I, like it almost makes me want to like fight somebody and just go to jail. So I don't even have to deal with holidays. Just like like I don't have to be up. like, <laughs> don't yeah. do that. Yeah, no, I know, no, I know. But it's like, gets that bad sometimes for me, like my anxiety I don't even like using 
that as some kind of like cop out, but it really does. Like it makes me so anxious and angry because yeah. me and her, me and her never fight the past two nights. Woo. There've been some yeah. good ones, <laughs> but, and, but it's all, and she knows it's all over this. Like she can tell, cause I'm usually happy, go lucky, stress free. Don't care. I mean, Cameron and Dakota will tell you that's just oh, how yeah. I am. He's... But around these times, I just get kind of I don't like it. Times. Yeah, I mean, I'm just a big idiot. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank it's, you. It's an, uh, it's like a joy. Every morning I wait because I, I work at I work <laughs> night shift. So every morning I wait for Cameron to call, and I'm like, Cameron at 7:30. Where's Chase? Safe, and what's the yeah. first thing i say to you when i call hey baby, hey, baby. <laughs> every morning hey beautiful, hey, beautiful. Uh, yeah i do man and what's it's, crazy is i have never <laughs> met this man in person in my life it's all been on the phone and all been on here <laughs> but we've had fun doing it that's, that's right great. man it's great but I don't need to be like that. I know I'm completely in the wrong. I am Mr. Scrooge when it comes to holidays. And I think now with my son, this is his first Thanksgiving. I think I'm hoping and praying that it does flip things around for me where I want him to enjoy it. I mean, that's my world. I mean, he'll get me emotional. My wife will get me emotional. But I mean... I just, I don't want him to grow up the rest of his life like I have for 31 years, dreading holidays, hating yeah. I don't want him to have that. And I've, that's a very big inner demon that I got to deal with. But I am like Kevin Gates. I have made it out the mud. Who in the world is that? <laughs> <laughs> he's a rapper okay he's got song just okay, okay just look okay, it up just okay, look we'll, it up we'll, but we'll do that later i will yeah. say like most of my childhood i was always a fan of christmas and the guy that's in the chat room right now the darth square he's actually my first cousin donovan he uh me and him used to have like a lot of fun during christmas time he'd come down to my my grandmother's house and at the time that's where i lived and um it was it was always just a a great time. I remember all the Christmas shows that I would watch growing up, and but I know during about ten years ago, I think it's ten yeah ten years ago this year on December the twelfth, that all changed for me. And ever since then, I was talking to uh, the Revenant Baller the other day about it. But at Christmas, I've been looking for that magic back ever since i've been looking almost for just family for christmas just um anything and everything like that you know all the the christmas cheer and whatnot because on december 12th 10 years ago my dad died right before christmas and i joke about it a lot going you know throughout the year and stuff but during christmas time is really tough just to just to make it through christmas and whatnot but um other than that i try like you said it's about the kids i want to i know this year i i got my grandmother on my mom's side i got her entire family on a chat group and i told them i was like look we haven't met for christmas in four or five years i was like there's been years like we don't even see each other individually and um so I told him, I was like, this year it's going to happen. I've got my own house, and I'm kind of the middleman. Y'all can come to my house. If you don't show up, I don't like you. <laughs> but You're no. dead to me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I can understand if something happens that they can't show up. But yeah. I want to try to bring that magic back for my kids that I had when I was younger. So, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that about your dad, man. Yeah. Uh, it's just life, man. It is. Oh, uh, I know. And that's strong of you to say it like that. It's just I know that's hard. What what it taught me whenever I lost him was uh, pretty much that we don't get to decide when we live or die. Right. And, and it doesn't matter if it's what it is, a sickness, a disease, or anything, if it's your time to go. The way that it happened, because he just, all right, he was a truck driver like me. And he just had a DOT physical 
and they checked him off on everything, said he was perfect, good to go. Three days later, he's dead, heart attack. So it doesn't matter what you have. You could be the healthiest person and alive, and if it's time for you to go, you're done. You don't have a choice. That's yeah. true. I mean, you hear about marathon runners that do that. I mean, they're perfect health, and they just have some kind of defect. Right. And they just drop dead, and they've, you know, been, you know, in shape, doing fitness and everything for years and years. I mean, it just, yeah, like you said, when it's your time, man. You can't stop it. And the remembered. bell tolls, brother. Yeah. So, getting off of that, how about you, Brittany? Oh, I'm sorry, lady. <laughs> What about? What you got it? some homework. You've been doing some homework. Oh, I'm gonna Did be. I'm homework? gonna be honest. Okay. I'm be <laughs> oh God. Honest for a minute. <laughs> so, I did a little bit of homework yesterday. I should have done more. I still felt like I was not prepared, but I do have a few things ready to bring to the table. So you should be proud, even though I was late this time. And I was on time last week. I just didn't have a lot of info. And I still don't have a lot. Uh, but it depends on what kind of what direction y'all are wanting to take this first. I know we were talking about conspiracy theories with me, like having Whoa. stuff. But so I have a few. Um, I don't know what you're wanting to start on. Like, do you want to go back to the Aaron Carter thing? Or do you want to start on something totally different? <laughs> Chase, why? What happened to Aaron Carter? What was it you told me the other day? No, no. Can I really no say tell. that? Yeah, go ahead. This is my podcast. I don't care. Wait, what? Okay. All right, bro. So listen. Aaron done tried to tell y'all. He been trying to tell everybody <laughs> for <laughs> over what two decades now. When when that song come out? Oh, that was a long time ago. That's like okay. one of his second. That's what, like it was first out. Oh, say. hold on. Why can't you say it? Yeah. No. Oh, but, okay. But when mm-hmm. that song came out, when he'd been trying to tell everybody that he had a problem. When he say, I want candy, <laughs> he done told the people, and they don't listen. <laughs> Lord, he was a kid. He was what, like... Lady was. He was like, older than me. L- lady like, had a crush on him. Yeah, I liked Aaron Carter when I was little. He was yeah, he was well, the he, bomb, and he did, he was he was like what, sixteen, eighteen when he sung that or something. I mean, I, I mean, nothing. Know. I know, I know. That's old enough. That's plenty old enough. No, I know, I know, I know. But you should have gone to Sail Creek. You could got exposed to moonshine in fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> People bringing it in in juice boxes. <laughs> Thanks, son. Lord. Yeah, we real redneck. <laughs> <laughs> but the apple pie moonshine in a juice box, you know, oh, the apple shoot. juice. <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can go ahead with the Aaron Carter thing, though. That that actually works out with a lot of the things that you're going to talk about, if I'm not mistaken. Egg, it's kind of it's kind of off. Uh, it's kind of off two of the things that I have, but I can go back to it. It's fine. So all that I was saying was um it wasn't anything like the i want candy and maybe that <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's just where we need to stop on that i don't okay. know <laughs> but um hey, I guess, I guess they, oh we got rick roll <laughs> oh i was like what where i didn't hear it but it's because i've got the volume turned out i am here i'm still here look i'll tell you i appreciate you yeah you're welcome <laughs> but um so basically, uh, you know, they said Aaron Carter was, and see, I'm going to have a brain fart now because I'm put on the spot and I feel like I didn't do my homework good enough on this. But they, there's like the last that I heard, right? And this could be updated by now. I haven't gone back and <laughs> done more homework like I should have. But sure, the last sure that I heard, do what? <laughs> His chair sure was spinning a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw him Ghost. get up, and oh, then I was like, what is still going on? Okay, right, but anyway. Ahead. um, So, oh, Lord, easy. <laughs> I just I'm just going to ignore that. Okay. Uh, so the last that I heard, they had not <laughs> updated on how he died, right? Yeah. But they, they said that he died drowned in the bathtub, but that they weren't sure if it was foul play or not. Yeah. So... 
I found a, actually Reb showed me a video um, of Aaron Carter that he had posted, which I'm kind of like, not, you know, when someone is on the, um, like drug, like substance abuse, like you can think all kind of stuff, like the FBI is out to get you and paranoia. they're going to, you know, yeah, paranoia that can get to you. Uh, so, it, you know, who knows? It may have just been that, but it was really weird that he posted this video. And I'll, I have it actually pulled up already. I did prepare myself a little bit. during. And the, I prepared by putting that break. audio on this time. Well, almost. You almost didn't. Oh, Rev, no. That was, Rev that was Rev's. Yeah. Rev saved you. Yeah. It's, all right. it's all right. But all right. Um, so I have it pulled up and just like listen to what he says. And then I guess like not long after this, he died, which is kind of weird. But anyway. Um, I appreciate there's been you, a lot of misdirection that I've had to do in order to protect myself um, from being the sil silence breaker for um, my brother who is a rapist. And um, now they're after my life. My whole family is after my life. And uh, they're setting me up. And Sony Records owes me $3.5 million. And they don't want to pay me. And it would be in their better interest, just like Michael told me. Um, and Brad Paisley, who sued Sony Records for $10 million. Um, they owe me money and they're trying to <clears throat> kill me off. And uh, I'm begging you and I'm pleading you, help me raise $100,000 as soon as I can so I can move to an undisclosed location where I am safe. <laughs> my realtor won't sell my house. They're all involved in this and they're trying to keep me there. They had somebody, they had cops come and check for a rope in my garage saying I wanted to hang myself. So please trust what I'm saying and please donate. So... You know, listening to that, it's kind of like, was it foul play or was it um, mm. echo, echo? Hello, it's fine. It, you know, it just kind of makes you wonder. You know, or maybe it was the substance abuse making him paranoid. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it, what do y'all think about it? What y'all's take on on it? I guess. I mean, it's a I guess. It's Pardon my language. It's a hell of a coincidence. Yeah. My sure. thing I mean, is, I, I, so a friend of mine, Corey, we were talking about something like this with that famous designer that hung herself from a doorknob with a shoelace. From a doorknob? From a doorknob. And what people don't understand about you know hanging yourself like that when you hang yourself usually it's done from the ceiling because it's the drop that kills yeah. you it's the yeah. neck breaking she laid there and suffocated herself i don't think that was her i think that was foul play i don't yeah i don't even think that's physically <laughs> possible is it just like you can't you cannot i mean you could tighten it and just off. lay there and you can lay there, but your hands are free enough to untie. Yeah, it. right. Exactly. You. Would That's what we're saying, but she didn't do it, and she just laid there from the doorknob. So, um, well, I don't. I feel like if you really want to go, I know this kind of dark, but like you could just tighten it and just sit there. I mean, you well, don't I, have to untie. The thing it. is, though, I feel like that it, that kind of brings you back to like people that jump off the bridges. As soon as they jump, they think, "What the crap did I just do?" Yeah. Yeah. Your instincts so, kicked in. It's all like adrenaline. Yeah. Then that's why you instinctively would you would. Well, I don't know though. You know, people that do that. This has gotten really dark. People that do that in the, in the bathtub. Right. You know, they they just sit there and they just go that way. Even though you know they've done, they don't try to get out and and hold it and run and get help. They just kind of. This is it for me. Well, that's my question: Is are all of those cases like legit, or have they been murdered? I think some of them are legit. Because uh, how but, are you going to drown yourself like that? Yeah, now see him, I don't know. I mean, I think you could, but I think you really, really have to. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think that's uh, that's kind of crazy for somebody to just be. Uh, I can understand if like he slipped and fell and drowned that way. Yeah. But. Yeah. So, so I, there was something else that I, I found, and I really wanted to show y'all. This is not as right. dark, okay? This was like, I found this up. while we were talking. I mean, it's not happy. It still involves death, but it's still like, it's it's just weird. It's not as 
it's not as not that so um have y'all heard the conspiracy theory between jfk and abraham lincoln no the ties between the two have y'all heard no. i mean they were both shot they were both <laughs> shot no that's that has something to do with it that they were definitely both has the something. president they were both the president and apparently jfk had great teeth he had fantastic teeth. I was looking JFK at was yesterday. a stud, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was well, well, he did have good teeth. He had good teeth. And I guess for married. back in his day, yeah, he was happily married. That was another thing. They both got killed sitting beside their wives. I'm gonna show you all this video. Women be shopping. <laughs> <laughs> because it's really, really weird. Like I could I could okay. I could tell y'all, but I didn't take notes. And I didn't, you know, so I'm just going to show you the video. It's, it's fine. Okay. This, this, <laughs> hold on, stop. Shh. I mean, I didn't take notes, as you can tell. <laughs> you got through <laughs> all your segments. I can't even, I can't even write. Let's, let's see, you were telling about <laughs> life, life. You're like something to happen and then your life experiences. So that's easier to talk about. I feel oh, like yeah. Than me. You know, trying to. Anyway, it's fine. I got a video, so I'm sort of prepared. I I enjoy the video, though. Okay. So listen to this, and y'all tell me how insane this is. It is so weird. So just just watch it. The craziest coincidences in American history lie between Abraham Lincoln and JFK. It's almost like they were predetermined to live the exact same lives. It starts with they were both elected to Congress in 46, 1846, and 1946, and then both elected as president in a year that ends with 60, 1860, 1960. Just they watch. were both, unfortunately, assassinated by being shot in the back of the head on a Friday while sitting right next to their wives. John Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln in a theater and then went to hide in a warehouse, while Lee Harvey Oswald shot JFK in a warehouse and then went to hide in a theater. Lincoln's secretary, whose last name was Kennedy, advised him not to go to the theater that day, and JFK's secretary with the name Lincoln advised him not to go to Dallas that day. The number seven also has a big role in it because both of their names have seven letters. JFK was in the seventh car, Abraham Lincoln was in the seventh booth, both their assassins' names are known by three words and 15 letters. And both police officers who detained their assassins have the last name Baker. I'm going to say the craziest coincidence, but before I do, make sure you follow so you find and know the craziest conspiracy theories about each of these celebrities and requests you want to see next. The craziest part is that both of their presidencies will be remembered for their work in civil rights and wanting to make change in that area. And then both of their successors had the last name of Johnson. The crazy. Okay, now y'all tell me that's not weird. That, I mean, it is. There's a lot of coincidences. Very you know? weird. Some a Alex lot of Jones, coincidences. Alex Jones type stuff. Yeah. This looks, this, I, just, I thought it was weird. But anyway. You ever hear Detective uh, Sherlock Holmes? I mean, I didn't find all that myself. So I kind of cheated. But Rev um, did it. No, I found the video. I'm saying oh, okay. I didn't do that. <laughs> I wasn't like, okay, what was the year that JFK got assassinated yeah, and then, yeah. you know, all that. But um, I thought it was really weird. And then it, and then I found something else. What do y'all think? <laughs> what do y'all think about the lizard people? <laughs> Hillary's you know, real. Hillary. Do what? <laughs> Hillary's real. <laughs> you think she's a lizard person? What about yes, Michelle Obama. You think My so? My sister is the queen. <laughs> Like some, she's a dragon. Dragon. yeah, she's a bearded dragon. <laughs> I'm glad y'all think it's funny. She has a beard. Cameron said she was hot. Cameron's an idiot. <laughs> He's an idiot. Oh my god! Oh gosh! She's a you're a nut. <sighs> <Anyway>. <laughs> <laughs> There's some weird stuff on the lizard people too. I know it's funny, but it's like Oh, let's hear it. You got some stuff I know. I mean I found a video, like this is the same guy. I was just watching it earlier, like supposedly this is I wish there was footage on it because it's very hard for me to believe this actually happened. But they were saying that Justin Bieber was in a concert <laughs> he started like Getting scales, like he started like transforming into a lizard in front of everybody. 
Was and you there, Chase? Uh, oh, did you see it? Did you I have to sign to, the I NDA? Don't go to no concerts. I want to sign one of them. I'm back. I'm telling everybody. You're not a believer. Are you a believer? No. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> I'd hurt him. <laughs> That's who you want to pot for Christmas. That's for right. Christmas so I that would be your jail. Christmas present. <laughs> oh my! Give me Bieber. Let's go. <laughs> But uh, anyway, that's just I'm not gonna show the video. I just wondered I what y'all take was stuff. on the lizards, the lizard people, like their eyes shifting. Yeah, like, that. Oh you yeah, seen the one I on have Michelle heard Obama that, yeah. for real about that. Oh, did her eyes do it too? Yeah, I haven't like seen that, hers, but I, it was years ago I saw it. But they, it wasn't Alex Jones, but it was somebody else that was sitting there talking about conspiracy theories, and they brought up the lizard people. And they were showing like so many different people, and then I started looking. There's a whole slew of them. Yeah, they're out there crawling out the gutters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't say the nothing. gutter living lizards yeah. crawling out. You missed everything. I know everything. some lot lizards. But lot um, lizards. <laughs> now I have a video if y'all just want to watch it, and he has like it shows their I'll eyes see turning. It. Yeah, let's let's watch it. Okay. Come on. I like as their tailor flipped. Wait, wait a second, just a second before you send it. Um, okay, Cameron, we're talking about lizard people. Do you believe in lizard people? <laughs> Sorry. You're you're muted. Apparently, oh no! The Nashville bombing was done by lizard people. Oh, the what the what? Bombing? Nashville bombing in 2021 done by lizard people. Wow. Oh, he believed in lizard people. Excuse me. Yeah, he's an idiot. <laughs> Go ahead, Cameron. <laughs> he looks so uppity right that. now. What'd you we say, have, I said we have two lizard people at the haunt, so we can go with that. Oh, well. Y'all have Sister lizard and my people? my mom do not work. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm done. I'm done. Go yeah, go ahead. Let's see the video. Okay, I'm, y'all keep talking. I'm trying to find it. It's here somewhere, but I got to pull it up. So, hey, no, have we see. talked about that one subject that we we were talking about earlier, Dakota? Mm, no. Okay. No, not yet. I didn't know if I missed that one or not. No, I'll, I'll get with that after after Brittany does her segment. Okay. I'm sorry, we can lady. be done after this. It's okay. fine. You can say Brit. People find my real name on my YouTube. It's fine. It's, I'm it's sorry. Like, her no, name, lady. Fine. Y'all y'all follow her. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I'm gonna be the stream bouncer. Hey, yeah, I appreciate it. But I gotta bounce yeah. myself sometimes. <laughs> hey, y'all go follow Chase too. Chase yeah, started streaming. Don't you follow I don't have, me? I don't have that set up, Izu. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta set you up as a mod and get that set up as well. But yeah, Izu, go follow Chase. He does uh, Arc, and we're gonna be doing Arc with him on Friday night, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, what stream- time do y'all want to do that? I'll uh, try to set that up. Lady streams at nine uh, Central Time, so. Uh, we, I mean, you could get on any time, but we'll just uh, hop in. I'll hop in whenever yeah. I on. It's not a big I mean, deal. I mean, I can do that. If like, she's the not. professional streamer in here, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come to my streams and you'll see how professional it is. Oh, it's real professional. Oh, oh yes, yeah. very professional. You show up thirty minutes late. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's hour. one thing. She the does the amateur hour. podcast, apparently. Oh, no. We're not as good. We're not good enough for. It. No, go. that is that not easy, true. Easy. That is not true. Yeah, okay, you, go, you guys go follow a lady. She's awesome. Let's oh, see thanks, stuff. you guys. Oh, that's y'all. There we go. Can you see the the lizard guy now? Oh yeah. I okay. Don't look like that, but go you ahead. probably heard the conspiracy right, theory go. that your favorite celebrity is <laughs> actually a lizard. So here's the full reason the crazy lizard people conspiracy exists. The world is controlled by What the by crap was that? Just hold on. <laughs> For years, conspiracy theorists have accused celebrities of shifting from normal people to lizard people right before our eyes. See your eyes? eyes? Whoa. Real videos you see that go from round human people to one. sharp oval, yeah. <laughs> reptilian looking pupils. Miley, Rihanna, Taylor, Beyonce. Oh, so John. Who did the Photoshop on that? Not actually a lizard. Mark, are the allegations this is true that you're secretly a lizard? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with no. I'm- 12 million people have gone on record saying that they believe in this theory, and David Icke has written many books about it. 
The story goes that lizard people are an advanced species of humanoid that existed back in dinosaur times, disguise themselves as humans, and then use their intelligence to control and dictate the world. They're able to achieve celebrity and prestige because they're way more advanced and intelligent than humans because they've been here for so much longer. They're not to be trusted because they want to plant seeds to destroy humans and corrupt them. In 2014, Justin Bieber was accused of switching back between human and lizard eyes on camera. Then the same year, he allegedly shifted into full lizard form in front of hundreds of fans. Then hundreds of news sources and people on Twitter were talking about it the next day. I'm gonna show you what people said he did as a lizard, but before I do, make sure you follow so you finally know the craziest conspiracy this theories stupid about each of these too, celebrities and requests do you wanna see next. People say that his head shrunk, his eyes went black, and real life scales formed down his body with a black stripe <laughs> down the middle. He grew over a foot taller, people were screaming, what? crying, running for the exit, and anyone who recorded it's the video Photoshop. to delete it and sign an NDA. <laughs> but everyone who saw him described his physical appearance the exact same way. Okay, so that wasn't the real picture. They're just saying that. I know, but like, they could have picked something better than <laughs> no. that. No, you're the dragon too, just like your sister. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> we got her on board. Yeah. <laughs> Victory and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, so yeah. the thing is about that whole uh, Justin Bieber video, the one that it showed him in the you know the prison uniform. That was just the the camera's quality, like really crapping out on it. I, you could tell that that wasn't. That I mean, was I could see what they were talking weird. about with the other yeah. ones, with the little going all lizard eye and whatnot. But that one, that just straight up was a camera just messing up. I mean, why they gotta be wizards though? Like, ain't nobody ever seen a. Well, smart there, there's wizard. also there's also another theory to that that they're not lizard people. It's they, snakes. They're, no. <laughs> Like the devil. He was a snake. I know. He was a serpent. He was a snake. I know what he was. Them nasty little creepy things. Oh, you're not bad. Okay. Snakes is up. I'm a devil. snake advocate. Anyways. Look, you're in a crawl space and you're throwing copperheads around. Yeah, go I mean, yeah, no, that's bad. No, I agree with the copperheads. They can take a hot. So they, the, the other theory, instead of lizard people, they think that they're aliens. Oh, yeah. Man. Well, ET can go down that somewhere. rabbit hole. No, that's it. No, I'm just saying that's what. Uh, if you look into that theory or into that video that she just showed, there are some that actually just think that they're aliens because they think that there's aliens among us that just look just like us. So, in yeah. fact, there was something that came out here the other day where they was like aliens have just um, announced that they're real, but. It wasn't like it's, it's, it's stupid. I, I don't. I don't think it's lizard people either. We don't live in Skyrim. I'm just saying. So, I don't remember if it was you, Dakota, or my cousin. But the other day, someone was talking to me about aliens. Was it, it wasn't you? me. No, that was, y'all believe in aliens? That wasn't. Well, I mean, <clears throat> I'm. That's a whole nother rabbit hole that. I've got guns loaded on that. So yeah, yeah, go yeah we'll go well, down that a different day. But I had, okay, different day. I got you. Yeah. I mean, you can go. You can say what you want to say. I don't care. I'm not telling you to shut up. I just I was. She heard. She I, did. I heard it. I wasn't meaning that that way. She told you to shut up. No, I didn't. You're part of the. You're part of the crew that's getting bullied by a female streamer. Yes, facts. <laughs> no. Uh, so, is that what you want? Is that like all you had? Uh, that's, that's, I mean, that's all I'm going to talk about. I mean, there's that thing that Reb was talking about with Hagrid, but, um, oh, and then the Nancy, you know Pelosi, what? You know, what? you know, you a Harry yes, Potter fan? You're a Harry Potter fan, Chase. What? A Gryffindor, bro. Oh, yeah, brother. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Everyone right, up there, he got... Hufflepuffing. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a Hufflepuff. Oh, if you got no, something against you're, Hufflepuff? You're slithering. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> 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 not uh, so, yeah, every time that I, I take one of those tests where it's like tells you what you are, I hope for Ravenclaw, but I am a Gryffindor. Yeah, so. Gryffindor, though. Yeah, Gryffindor up in here. So I, I'll be with the snakes on that one. Yeah, you're you're a slithery snake. But you're not a snake advocate. Gryffindor. What's up with that? I handle them with a four ten and a twelve gauge. <laughs> there you go, Smokey. Another one over. Well, at least you don't chop their head off and make them live through it. No, I just like I said, I just shoot their head off. 
One pop, it's over. Or you can relocate them. Well, I do relocate them. Yeah, we've got right beyond. The <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Uh, no, go, I'm... Go ahead with the Hagrid thing. Go ahead. No, 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 no. That's Let's so let someone sad. else... I've been talking for like... No, it's been oh. good. It's really been good. Okay, well, I don't... I'm not as good at talking about Hagrid than this Reb was. Get but, Reb up uh, in this piece. Man, yeah, you do. I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. I can just save that for next time. Okay. It's okay. We'll it it's time. it's fine. Whenever so I, I do, can. I do have another topic though that um that Chay or Cameron was just talking about. So <laughs> my, I was alluding to. I didn't talk about it. I alluded to it. Well, well, yeah, that's what I mean. So uh, this one is actually something that my cousin asked me to talk about because he heard it on a podcast last week, and it it kind of something that I've always liked talking about to some people. So. Back when we were wanting to go to Japan, me and my wife, we started looking into the Japanese culture, and uh, which I, I've always wanted to go since I was just a kid. It was a dream of mine, but I'd done a little bit of looking into it myself ever since I was a kid. But we started really digging in to like vlogs and stuff like that that uh, people would tell about the Japanese culture and how they live over there in the east side of the world. And um, what do you guys – think about how we do with our restaurant employees like the waiters and waitresses and it's crap you know you know yeah i think you know what i'm about to say so they don't get an actual minimum wage like most people they they have to go based off their tips and what do you think about how we tip people how in fact what do you actually tip your waiter or waitress and how well do you tip them and do you think that they should just be paid a regular amount and not get tips? Or do you think that we should still be tipping them? And back to what I was saying, how much, how much do you actually tip them? And I'll go into more about that as well. Cause I know that there's going to be a, I can feel Chase's answer already, but go ahead. I want y'all to, I want y'all to yeah, go. Y'all go, y'all go first. I'm no, always you, talking. You go, no, you, you go. You, I just got done talking about lizard people and everything. Else. <laughs> go ahead. I'm good. Cameron, Cameron, you go ahead, Later. buddy. You over there looking too cute to not go. Okay. So, <laughs> me, and, me, and Dakota, no me and Dakota had touched on this earlier. Love your hairdo there. Yeah, well, I was done to talk to your wife a minute ago, so. At least he has hair, right? Your, your, uh, your wife showed up now and went nuts. No, uh, so, yeah, there was, there's a stranger in the yard. There's a stranger in the yard. <laughs> I don't know who that is. So, Personally, I think they should be paid an hourly wage because you will have people that are just straight-up douchebags that will not tip. Right. They will be straight-up rude to them, demand everything of them, and just won't tip. So they're getting paid their $2.75 an hour as their pay rate plus their tips. It's not right. Hmm. They can't live on that. Um, like COVID, all that crap. Um the ones that did get to work wasn't making anything anyway because there's nobody there to tip them. Yeah. And then if they did allow anybody in, you know, you're not guaranteed to actually have a good tipper there. Add that, Izu. Add that to the the Discord. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Personally, I, I think here, that it should be paid hourly, an hourly wage, minimum wage at least. Uh, oh. As far as what I tip, I usually try to do the 12 to 15 percent sometimes extra depending on how they act if they're nice courteous to us and you know actually take care of us like they need to you know they're gonna get more yeah yeah that's that's the thing like um well lady will be back in a minute she had to deal with something but um the way that i look at it i've got a friend that works as a waitress and she does really good but she also busts her tail out there and I know for a fact that she'll take and run like over a thousand dollars a week just in tips, which is not taxable, by the way. That's all her money. And she does good at it. But then, like you said, there's all the people that don't get, you know, anything hardly in their scrape. And I found out about this for the first time when I was like 19 years old when I worked at Pizza Hut. I was a cook. And there was a, a female there that she would, she would work hard but the thing is we didn't have any customers hardly whenever she worked and that's another thing is it depends on your schedule when you're a waitress or a waiter 
whether or not you're going to be in the you know in the good with the people that are going to be tipping or if we even going to have anybody there exactly my point because you'll have, like i said you'll have nights like say a monday night typically not the best night to go out to eat for the waiters waitresses good night for you to go eat so i mean it, there's nights of where it's going to be packed out busy slam friday saturday nights and then some nights you know uh, you made your manager mad. Your manager doesn't like you. You're working Tuesdays and Mondays where there's hardly anybody on on property. Right. Yep. That's a and also the restaurant that you work at is a lot. Um, like I said, at Pizza Hut. That was back in the time whenever Pizza Hut had the you know you can go in and dine in, and that would bar be bussing, bro. Oh, dude, that was come amazing. on with it. Yeah, <laughs> that 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 uh. That yeah, bar exactly. was that was the that was the best. I wish they would have never took that away. But um, um, there's some that still have that. Uh, the last time I was there, the one in Scottsboro still has the bar. Thanks for the invite. They took it away. Oh, well, I, I guess with COVID, that that probably killed it. Yeah, it did. I mean, it was already going down after uh, before that, but yeah, COVID I think just went. So. Yeah, well, COVID put a nail on a lot of coffins. Yeah, it did. Man, it's sad that that did that, but that is what it is. But what do you think, uh, Cameron? You've been quiet on this. I feel like I know what your answer is going to be. You mean Chase? Yeah, I'm sorry, Chase. I, I, I just gave you my hospital. Well, yeah. do you want me to get to tap into the part where you were talking about my profession and tips and stuff? Well, I'll, I'll get into that because I'm going to also, before I get into that, I want to talk about the Eastern culture and how they deal with that. Okay. Do you want me to wait on her? Or? No, you go ahead. She can hear okay. us, but she just got us. Like she's she's having to deal with something right now. Oh, I gotcha. So, yeah, I was a server um, at Olive Garden for three weeks. But you just keep doing it too, <laughs> buddy. You ain't never seen somebody <laughs> so cute Good with a southern that. accent trying to say pasta fajol. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll be up there with the breadsticks, a salad. I'll be like, "What you want? You want the minestrone? What? I don't even." The minestrone. I was up. What about there, that bro. Zupa Toscano? Zupa Toscana, brother. Yeah. <laughs> just so everybody knows the reason why everybody starts cracking up. The whole thing. <laughs> Look at what Izu said in the chat, real quick. Look at what Izu said. Pasta for show. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> But that's also one of Chase's lines that he uses on me in Dakota all the time. No, I what? Mean, I'm keep doing it. Oh, yeah. Earlier, I was – every time I'm like, Dakota, where are you doing? He'll be like, oh, nothing, you know, just driving. I'll be like, oh, I bet you look cute, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's just my thing, man. Make everybody feel loved. Right. Let them know they're cute. <laughs> but I'm happily married to my wife. So, sorry, we gotta, Cameron we gotta, Dakota. We got to get her in on the podcast. My wife? Yeah, he's gonna gonna oh, happen. God. She's going to dog me. Oh, good. That would be great. Yeah, she'll be yeah. like, oh, he's an idiot. <laughs> so, which you already know that. But, so oh. I think. Couch, well, couch. His, his wife is pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Oh. And I kill what you cute. Uh. The couch couch is an inside joke. Yeah, yeah baby. Oh, my goodness. Hi, right. baby. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead with your, your okay. sidetrack. Yeah, I did. <laughs> never heard nobody tell me I'm cute. <laughs> On the internet. I don't care. Ever. Erin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she don't exist. <laughs> She's fake. But, uh. <laughs> John. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Malaysia. All right. Oh, I got you. Um, so, yeah, but I was a server for three weeks. You're back. And, oh, dude, I, I remember talking to servers that had been there for years, right? Right. And they they had that complaint. Right. And I thought then, because like, I think we were getting paid like $2.30 an hour, $0.34 cents an hour, something like that. But then plus tips. Right. Well, it also depends on, like you said, the restaurant, mm -hmm. which, fun fact, Olive Garden at Hamilton Place is the busiest restaurant in Chattanooga. Is it know. really? It is. That doesn't surprise me. 
But I didn't know that. I would have thought something else, but it's just because it's right there at the mall. It's right off 75. It's just, you know, people want Italian. You go to all garden. Breadsticks and salad. Come on. (laughs) But yeah, they would, so they, they would complain about that. Well, um, I thought, wouldn't it just be smarter to kind of have a minimum wage for the servers on if you work a shift, right? Let's say you get $100. You get $100 a shift plus your tips. Like, and I know the companies would lose money on that. I don't but, think they would, to be honest, but go ahead. Well, but I mean, some some companies would. Like, a, well, obviously, I mean, I can mom understand. and pops are yeah. going to do that. But like no, that, no, pizza, no. that pizza that you're talking about, you give, you give a server $100 plus tips mm. now yeah if you have a busy because i mean i mean if you make a hundred bucks you're compared to working an eight hour shift at let's say three dollars an hour you're making over four times what you would have made right but if you don't get any tips that day at least you can be like well i've i had money for gas to work gas home and lunch yeah. And still could put, you know, fifty dollars back or fifty dollars towards <laughs> something. Right. Plus you might have got twenty bucks in tips that day. So I mean it just something small like that it, and you know, you pay people, they stay places. Right. If you want them to stay, you have to pay. And yeah. you I mean your quality your quality <clears throat> of work goes down. Yep. Quality of service goes down if your pay stays down. Mm-hmm. And so they, they just, yeah, I think do something like that. And the amount that I tip, I'm a very generous tipper. That three weeks, I'm telling you, changed me. Yeah. Like my my mindset on serving, it sucks. It's, it sucks. You can't. It does. You're not going to go out and make 60K mm-hmm. a year. No. You're, you're not going to have great benefits. Even if you do somehow make 60K, you're not probably going to have any benefits. At the and, same time, with that though, it, Olive Garden is not a job you're going to make sixty k a year anyway. Not yeah, unless you're no. a manager. It's not a career right. path. That's like somebody working through college. But at the same time, somebody in college does need you know money to get by. They're not just right. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And I was yeah no, and I was nineteen at the time. So right. like you know, I had also two other jobs at that time. I had three jobs while I worked there in total because Olive Garden doesn't cut it. But I also, yeah. I see. You see it. What? You see it, Brittany. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's just messing with Brittany. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, so. But yeah, I, I'm a very, very way, generous I'm tipper now. By the way, uh, I'm still here. Okay. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, You're but yeah, since that, it's made me a very generous tipper. My dad gets mad. He He's always like, do the 10 to 12%. Or fifteen percent on everything. Me, if I'm if I'm somewhere and I go to, let's say I go to Amigos, right? Mm-hmm. So or some just some Mexican restaurant, and I'm and I get my tab, and my tab's seventeen, eighteen dollars. I'm probably minimum. I'm leaving twenty five, but most of the time I'm probably just leaving thirty. Right. I'm a really good tipper because, and I try to explain this to people, if that extra four dollars is going to break you because you can't give it to somebody else, bro. You right. got some bigger issues. You need to rework some stuff. You need to, you don't quit. need to you be don't... out eating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't need to be out eating. If if your tip is going to be $16 or something, you're going to leave compared to just give her a 20, give him a 20. And you're like, no, I can't do that. That's, that's going to break me. Like, come on. Right. You got to figure that out. I got to, call from my dad so i'm just gonna mute myself okay you're good go ahead Brittany. sorry do you know what the have you been listening yes i i've been listening and my opinion is probably not gonna be a popular one but i feel like i do feel like you need to tip them um i mean i feel like it's nice to tip them there's times that we don't tip them especially if they are not doing their job correctly as in like you know, being attentive to what you need and all this kind of stuff in there. I mean, it, I guess if they're busy, that's one thing. But if they're really slow, like you've had an empty drink for like 15 minutes and nobody's come by to be like, hey, do you need more to drink? Like, I, I mean, bruh. You, no, you I know. get that, yeah. 
you need to quit being lazy and do your job. But I also don't feel like it's my job. Like I feel, I feel like they need to get paid an hourly wage, 110%. Okay. I feel like it's not right for them not to get paid that way because that's literally how every job is set up other than that job. And I don't understand why. I don't see how they do that it, it come under the labor board. No, that way, but. I don't either. I feel like it, I feel like tips should be an optional thing as in like, Hey, you're doing a great job. I want to tip you this and they shouldn't have to like, tip you know, their service. Which is yeah. Not me. That's yeah. <laughs> I don't feel no, like I, I should have to pay them. Saying, yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't feel like it's my job to pay them. Like, I don't feel like well, just I should, it's, especially if you're like, you know, your meal's already 40 bucks. And then you're like, well, dang, like I'm barely, like y'all said, uh, that probably means I shouldn't be going out to eat. At the same time, like I shouldn't have to pay your, your salary. Like I feel like yeah. that should be your job's job to do that. And it's really frustrating that they don't. I feel like they should. 100% like you said, though, it's like the quality should. of their service to right. you, too. If, right. I get, if I get bad service, no. I, got, I mean, I'm still going to give you like a dollar. Right. <laughs> that's that's, now, that's now just a slap to the time, face, you know it. Well, there's been one time where it <laughs> said you tip. You it, it, it said tip, and I said get a personality. Oh, and, my God. And that was, that was mean, but I'm telling you, this dude, there's he got caught these calls, bro. About yeah. Called him. But okay. no, I, I'm with that. What do you feel about, like, getting drive out or drive, like, drive through takeout or something like you order it and you pull up or you walk in to get your food that's in a bag do you yeah. tip then because that's the one i struggle with because i'm like that hostess literally hit like seven buttons on something and she no, ain't getting I, paid I what don't. a waiter does and so, then they ask him for like a ten dollar tip on a 52 dollar tab because big daddy yeah. had to get a steak you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, so I, my, do, I don't do that. My brother in that. the comments said that he hates some restaurants split tips between everyone, including the cooks and bartenders. Yeah, that, that's bullcrap. That, that's that, that ain't right. That ain't right no, at all. And, and I'm going to say something about this. My mother used to be a server, and they were trying to make her only get a percentage of her own tips and give it back to the restaurant. That's that's not right either. So i'm gonna to have to say I'm, i agree with both of you guys and the reason i'm saying that is because over in japan they do not like it is a disrespect to tip them they do not accept tips you do not tip them they won't they won't take it you they will they will frown upon it and the reason being is because they do get paid for their what you know they get paid for what they're supposed to be doing anyway and they look at it as they should always be striving to do the best they can, and that's what they right. are getting paid for. And that, to me, that's how it should be over here. We shouldn't be having to, you know, fork the bill for their uh, for their wages. That should definitely be the restaurant. Yep. It is definitely not set up properly over here, as far as that goes, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Uh, I know that it's very liked. Even the Western culture that lives in Japan, um, they they like the fact that. Japanese people have that down pat. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but also, uh, Cameron was saying, like, people in his field, uh, like pest control and, you know, any type of service such as that, I know he gets tips from his, um, and from his customers a lot, and especially during Christmas time. He'll tell me sometimes that, you know, they're, they're going to give me a little bit of a tip uh, for Christmas this year or every year or whatever. And um, I know that's because, and, but he also gets paid for what he does by his company. But the the person underpaid. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll, I'll be. I, I will, what, I will what agree they with do, you. What it's they hard do. work. No, yeah. it, it sucks. You're mistreated. You that's right. No easy, easy. That has, has you're back. you're exactly what I'm talking about. Like over there in Malaysia, where Easy lives, they they get paid. Yeah, right. they get paid the right thing. So. But yeah, Cameron, he gets you know underpaid. We we know that everybody. There's a lot of people out there right now getting underpaid, in my opinion. But as far as that goes, like, what do you guys think about like services like that? Do you think that you know? I mean, I know that's going to be up to the customer, but I know some jobs have actually said that you're not allowed to accept tips should the employee accept it. Yeah. Well, I think it should be optional. Ours. We we actually had a district in, um, I think it was Decatur, where the home office is at, that actually was tipped. And, a, and also, Cameron, I will go ahead and tell you, you might not want to, 
you know, name drop the company. I'm just... I'm, I'm not name dropping okay. anything. Okay. But uh, we've we've had a, a guy actually get tipped a pickup truck. What? Uh, yeah, brand new. The customer took him to the lot, said, "Pick what? out the color." Yes. Um, that is when I, first started. I think I want your job and go over there. <laughs> well, it was old money. Um, old money is just as good as new money. <laughs> it, was, it was old money with a company, um, like level one, day one customers. Yeah. And they had an issue with a past technician, got a new tech, right. and this dude was getting rid of issues, getting them all squared away, um, got to know one them their kids the whole nine yards uh was helping one of the kids learn how to ride a bike one day in the, in the yard right uh because the dad was at work and the kid wanted to ride and couldn't ride and he helped him out for five minutes and the wife seen it um it was actually the grandmother of the kid and okay. they called the office talked to him and said well we want to give him a gift when the guy hunts and had a pretty bad broken down truck and they took him to the Toyota dealership and said, hey, pick out the color, it's yours. They paid cash right there on the spot. He drove away with a brand new truck. That's dope. Yeah. That is lit. Um, I've got one customer um, that I've taken care of over the last nine years. I've missed him for three because they took him away from me uh, religiously. Call him up for his Christmas time service. Hey, there'll be something on the back of the fence for you when you walk in. Don't miss it. Every year, 50 bucks cash waiting on me. That's nice. Um, yeah, that's good. I've got another lady every year, $25 in a gift card, and wants to know about the kids. Uh, I see her once every three months. Hey, I want to see the pictures every time. She can tell you the kids' names. She'll get the kids out of order, but she can tell you their names and how many I I've had. get the kids out of order. You know what? I don't even, like, I don't even know the order. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, the last three. Yeah. I know, well, one of, I know one Addison of, <laughs> and Liam because I like And I know the Liam. first one. I know the first one and the last three. The middle two, I'm off. <laughs> you, you just get the which one calls you the butthole wrong. No, I know it's Grayson, but I can't. I didn't know William talked that much. Now, yeah, yeah. But every time I see him on camera, he just hides. Uh, he's Liam's he's my favorite. I mean, he he does it with Dakota too. Yeah, he does. He yeah. hates me. Um, <laughs> but no, I and it me. The majority of people that give me tips is honestly the ones that really can't afford it. Most that, of the time, yeah, the ones that can't afford it. Yeah, but it's the ones Older that you take. Um, yeah, but it's the ones that you've taken care of, actually helped, actually talked to. I mean, honestly, I could go through my customers. I do about one twenty a month, um, and I only see about forty of those every month. So I've got about ninety customers I see once every ninety days. I could go through there and show you who's going to tip me, just because I've taken care of them and talked to them. Um, a lot of and, you know, some of them may not think that they have to tip you. And that, I mean, they don't have to tip you. But some of them may think, well, you get paid, you know, your regular wage, so they're not going to tip you. They don't think of it as, uh, like. There's, there's some. I've actually had a guy that I started a couple months ago uh, doing a routine follow-up visit for roaches. And Rev can tell you, you know, they preach, you know, you got to do your two weeks. You got to do your two weeks. You got to go back out and you got to get rid of them. Uh, simply called the guy up to do his two-week follow-up, was in there talking to him. He got off work third shift, just, you know, just like we're talking now, just talking to the guy and saying, hey, look, man, you know, this is what your issue is. This is what I need you to do to help me to get rid of it. You know, do your part, and I'll do mine. We'll have him taken care of. Sitting there just talking, you know, learning about each other and stuff and learning about his issues. He's like, are you all allowed to take tips? He's like, I mean, yeah, if you want to give us a tip, we can take a tip. But I said, but it's not required of you. Right. I said, this right here is just me coming out, back out to help you. Right. Goes in his room, comes back, 40 bucks. Hey, yeah. I appreciate what you're doing. That's cool. Uh, That's cool. I had a lady a couple years ago. Um, her dad had died, and I took the time out just to talk to her for a minute. Uh, my granddad had died the month month prior to that. And so, you know, I kind of knew where she was coming from talking to her and stuff. I took 10 minutes out of my day to talk to her. Ended up getting a $100 tip. She tipped me 50 bucks for my birthday, 50 bucks for Christmas. 
That's awesome. That is cool. But See, that's the thing, though. I feel like it should be a nice thing to do, but it shouldn't be, like, required for any job. I feel like it should be something that you do because you enjoy, you you appreciate them. You know, you appreciate right. what they're doing, you, you know, that kind of thing. So. And, and see, I have another guy that I work with. He's trying to do anything he can think of to make them give him a tip. Hmm. That's not the way he's, to do He's mentioning, oh, well, you know, it's Christmas time and stuff, and I got bills to pay and stuff. And he's trying to push. We ain't talking about Elon, are we? We, we are talking about Elon. Talking about, see, what? Chase, Chase, he's trying to get up. Ah! He's trying to get. Got <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get that. <laughs> <Got him. laughs> what? You had to be like listening to my stream to hear that one. <laughs> But yeah, we're talking about Elon trying to get up on you and get that. I made more money than you. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, that was that kid's first words out of his mouth, and I've seen his books on the side. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy it. I will say uh, that's to me that like, like what Lady was saying. I feel like it should be something that if you want to tip somebody, it's just what you you can. But at the same time, I don't think that we should be required to pay their wages. And that's all you're doing yeah. when you're tipping somebody. And it's, it's hard because the waitress or the waiter may not actually get that tip. Um, so, and it's under different circumstances that may not, not even be, you know, a jerk of a cus yeah, customer. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close up right now because it's been an hour and 46 it's minutes. It's almost the same amount of time again. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're like, we're going to really, make it shorter. You know, I'm trying, but, you know, it is what it is. But. It is uh, close to seven o'clock, or it's seven thirty, nearly over here in Eastern Time. And uh, but don't forget to follow Lady Mischief. What's going on? It's bussing. How you doing, man? You're coming in at the end. Hey, bussing. It's good to see, you, bro. I want to tell you something. If you'll take and get some people to follow me, I'm going to do what you did. Yeah, I'm going to do it. And what I did, no, that but thing. Don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What Lady did too. I want to tell you though, bussing. Listen. <laughs> we we got a we got a youtube channel it's it's uh down below you can see it you can actually watch this whole podcast on youtube tomorrow at 7 a.m or anytime after that like it's going to be all uploaded on youtube so if you wanted to see it you can definitely go look at it so um but we are going to go ahead and end the stream we've got lady mischief i hope you guys give her a follow if you don't already and we've got chase newsome over here chase 331 is his uh, no, it's not a link down below, but if you look over here, Izu, like where under me, it shows all my social media sites. But guys, go ahead and give them a follow. And if you want to see me eat that one, uh, one chip challenge, give me a follow as well. So uh, we also got streaming coming tonight on Lady Mischief's channel, my channel, and the Revenant Balor's channel. Go give him a follow as well. We're going to be uh, streaming uh, Grounded, if Lady remembered to download it. I did. Okay. We both did. We yeah, did, I did it. Too. I did too. Yeah. yeah. So I hope you guys Thanks enjoyed this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's only four people. Yeah. Dude, I don't even know what ground it is. I'm it's another survival game. Tonight. Yeah, it's another survival game. So oh, Dakota, go ahead and plug for Friday night too while we're doing it. Yeah, we're going to be uh, doing ARC on Friday night. We're going to be streaming that. I reckon Lady Miss just going to be doing that as well. And uh, also, it's busting if you're still here. If you want to ever check out the podcast i reckon it's going to be every wednesday night at 5 30 and then like i said the following thursday the next morning at 7 a.m this video should go up so i uh, really if have anything to do with it it'd be about 6 6 30 <laughs> you me yeah, yeah, yeah. You. hey you were late last time i don't hear it thank you for that easy but i'm glad that everybody stopped by i hope you all have a wonderful thanksgiving and wonderful holidays be safe out there and have a good one